again, this is Mom Jane and I welcome you to the part 2 of our introduction to empowerment technology. In this video lesson, we will discuss ICT in our everyday lives, specifically yung Web 1.0, Web 2.0, and yung Web 3.0. So let us now proceed to Web 1.0. This is the first stage in the World Wide Web evolution and it is also known as Read Only Web. This means yung mga pages ng website ng Web 1.0 didn't offer any interactive features. Meaning, um, kaya siya tinawag na read-only web because the website is static. Hindi kaya ni user na i-manipulate yung certain website na yon or particular website na yon because the reader or the user can just only read the information on that particular website. Example of Web 1.0 are static websites and personal sites. Again, Web 1.0 is characterized as static websites and it didn't offer any interactive features because the users cannot manipulate the website itself. Now, Web 2.0 is far different from what I've mentioned a while back because Web 2.0 is more participative and social web. We have this term, foxonomy, because Web 2.0 allows the users to categorize, classify, and arrange information. Kaya meron tayong tinatawag na hashtag wherein we can tag information on a certain people by using the hashtag. Gumagamit tayo ng hashtag or tagging sa mga popular networking sites such as yung Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and other social networking sites. It is rich user experience because the content is dynamic and responsive to the user's input. Web 2.0 is long tail. Bakit? Because services are offered on demand rather than on one-time purchase. So parang katulad lang yan ng pag-purchase natin or subscribing to a data plan para magkaroon tayo ng internet. So there is a specific charges wherein yung amount of time kung kailan mo gagamitin yung internet na yon And also there will be a charges and specific amount of bandwidth of internet that you will be using. Web 2.0 is a user participation dahil dito, the owner of the website is not the only one who is able to put content. Ibig sabihin, si Web 2.0 can have a lot of participation of the users kasi yung iba, pwede na rin silang maglagay ng kanilang own content by means of commenting, doing a review, and also giving evaluation. Kaya nga, minsan may mga websites na nag sa mga readers para makapag-comment sila sa article, makapag-participate sa poll, makapagbigay ng review, ng evaluation, doon sa specific product na gusto nilang i-review. That's why when we do an online shopping, let's say for example, we do an online shopping, hindi naman natin siya agad binibili. Tama ba ako? Kasi, on, based on my own experiences, I usually read comments and reviews from um, from the users or from those people na nakabili ng product na yun before ko siyang bilin. And vice versa, after I bought the product, I was able to give my own comment. I would also be able to give my own review on the specific product that I bought from online shopping. Let's say, for example, yung Lazada, Shopee. So what I am saying, Web 2.0 is a user participation wherein the owner of that particular website is not the only one who can leave a comment, review, and anything to, to that particular website. Web 2.0 is a software as a service. Anong ibig sabihin nito? Users will subscribe to a software only when needed rather than purchasing them. Ito yung tinatawag nating cheaper option o mas makakatipid ka because you don't need to purchase the software. So example nito yung paggamit natin ng mga Google Documents. This is a free web-based application that allows you to create and edit word processing and spreadsheet documents online. And lastly, Web 2.0 is a mass participation. It is a diverse information sharing through universal web access. So, since most users can make use the internet, Web 2.0's content is based on the people from different cultures. Again, the features of Web 2.0 are foxonomy, rich user experience, long tail, 
user participation, software as a service, and mass participation. Now let us proceed to the six types of social media. So here are the six types of social media. First is the social network. These are the sites that allow you to connect with people with the same interests and backgrounds. Examples are Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, and so on. Next one is bookmarking sites. These are sites that allow you to store and manage links to various websites and resources. A good example of these are Facebook, YouTube, and Google. Next is media sharing. These are the sites that allow you to upload and share media content like images, music, and videos. Examples are TikTok, YouTube, and Facebook. Next is microblogging. These are the sites that focus on short updates from the users. So the content in microblogging is typically smaller in size. Last one is blogs and forums. These are the websites that allows the users to post their content. So the content is much longer compared to microblogging. Now let me just go through my laptop and I will discuss to you how you are going to answer your learning activity sheet. Now I'm here on our screen. I'm using my laptop already. And this is our learning activity sheet in empowerment technology. So ito yung ating week 1 sa introduction to ICT. Lahat ng mga topics and discussions na nandito sa loob ng last one natin ay na-discuss natin at natalakay natin sa video lesson na naka-upload na ngayon sa ating YouTube channel. This is the part 2 and then yung part 1 is pwede na lang natin tignan sa description ng video na ito para makita ninyo. Um, dito sa ating learning activity sheet 1, as you can see, it is already indicated yung objectives, yung content standards, performance standards. This is the milk in our learning activity sheet 1. Compare and contrast the nuances of varied online platforms, sites, and content to best achieve specific class objectives or address situational challenges. Ito yung mga specific objectives natin. So, if there would be an instances na may pagkakataon or there would be instances na nahihirapan kayong intindihin yung mga terminologies and explanation dito sa ating PDF file, pwede ninyong balikan yung ating video lesson for you to be able to better understand the whole content of this learning activity sheet. Okay, this is our lesson 1. Ito yung una nating sasagutan, itong preliminary activities. This is a multiple choice, so I'll just, all you have to do is to write the letter of your answer sa inyong um, answer sheet. This is just only a 10 item. So let us proceed na tayo sa ating next page, which is the motivation. Kung natatandaan ninyo, ito yung mga questions na tinanong ko sa inyo sa ating introduction. And then, you'll just have to do the analysis or the processing questions. What is ICT? What is the impact of ICT on our society? And what are the trends in ICT? As I have said a while ago, this is a discussion of the topic. And all of these are already discussed on our video lesson that was already uploaded on our YouTube channel. Ito yung ating Introduction to Empowerment Technology Part 1 and this video is already Part 2. So, na-discuss na natin ito sa beginning ng ating lesson. Okay? Dito sa bandang baba, these are the activities that you are going to answer. Okay? For our independent activities, this is our activity A. All you have to do is to look for five websites and classify them as static or dynamic. Na-discuss naman natin yung pagkakaiba ng static or dynamic. Okay? There is already a given website which is Facebook. You have to identify if it's static or dynamic. Kapag sinabi natin static websites, these are the websites that are already fixed. 
these are the websites that display the same content for every user. Okay? Kayas natin siya dina tinawag na static. There would be no user interaction. On the other hand, kapag sinabi natin dynamic, uulitin ko, these are the websites that display different contents. Meron siyang user interaction. In this, the user can interact okay, with the websites. With the use or making of advanced programming and databases in addition to HTML. Now, let us proceed to activity B. Sorry, activity B. So, in here, you have to choose one of the sectors or groups that are using or utilizing ICT technologies. So, there would already or there is already provided example, which is education. Dito, sa mga sectors or group that are utilizing ICT technologies, you have to give platform or program na ginagamit dun sa indicated sector or group na yon. And then you have to indicate what are or what is or are advantage or advantages, benefit and status ng platform na ibinigay ninyo or inindicate ninyo. Let's say for example here in education, the platform that was given is GeoGebra. This is a free online mathematics tool which can be used by you as a student to understand the mathematics concepts to help to solve problem and to check solutions rather. Okay? And then for our part four, you'll just have to do a reflection. What do you like most about the activity given here? How you feel about the activity and why do you feel that way? Ano yung mga implication na activity sa'yo bilang sujante at sa personal na buhay mo? Okay? Ito yung mga reflection lang na sasagutin nyo. You don't have to answer it in um, long sentences. It would be brief and meaningful as possible. For our assessment, you'll have to identify if the following website is social media, social network, bookmarking sites, social news, media sharing, microblogging, and or blogs and forums. So these are just very easy. Kung nalalabuan kayo at medyo hindi nyo pa rin naiintindihan, pwede nyo balikan yung ating video lesson. So, that's all for our module explanation or learning activity sheet explanation para sa ating week 1. This is the end of our video lesson. If you have questions, clarifications, or suggestions, meron kayong mga hindi maintindihan sa lesson natin, do not hesitate to leave your comments on the box below. And I will try my best to answer of those questions and suggestions that you have in you. Okay? See you in our next video. Bye!